The Agincourt is a tier 5 British battleship that has recently been released for sale in the premium shop after being locked away in the dark land of loot boxes since her first introduction. Don't much like it. Let's see if it'll go away. No! Now, this is very much a ship of absolutes. She does some things excellently, and she does other things absolutely horrifically. Let's start with the... Bad. I want to get to the good stuff as quickly as possible, so let's speedrun this shit. First off, she's horrifically slow, but that's hardly anything new for a tier 5 battleship. Secondly, her main battery reload is so horrifically slow that you'd think her turret crews were making a cup of tea in between shots. Thirdly, she has no anti-air capabilities. This is not hyperbole, she literally has zero anti-air guns. On top of her poor speed, she accelerates slower than a glacier. Her range is incredibly short, but that's probably for the best because with this accuracy, you wouldn't want to shoot any further anyway. Finally, her other piercing rounds have more trouble penetrating than I did with my first girlfriend. Now that's out of the way, we can get on to the good stuff. To start with the most boring thing, her armor's pretty good. She has a dispersed armor scheme, which makes her pretty strong everywhere, especially if you angle correctly. On top of this, literally, her 38mm deck goes a long way to help protect her from HE spam. But nobody's playing Agigor because of her survivability. I know what you're here for. Firepower. Wow, a gun! <laughs> HMS Agincourt had the highest number of main battery guns on any post-Dreadnought battleship. This means that whilst her main battery may be unable to hit a barn door from the inside, she throws enough shit at the wall that some of it's gonna stick. 14 main battery guns? The number of guns this ship has can almost vote. Couple this with her British high explosive shells and she's an absolute pyromaniac. With a 34% fire chance, you only need 4 or so shells to land to theoretically guarantee a fire, and with 14 barrels you have a pretty good chance of achieving that with a well placed salvo, even with her accuracy working against her. She also has really good high explosive penetration, allowing you to citadel same and lower tier cruisers. This means that you should mostly ignore her armor piercing, as just focusing on firing HE at everyone will give way better results more consistently. Now now now, it's time for the main event. Give it up for... The secondaries! These things are incredible. Accurate, fast firing, high penetration, sexy, devastating, long range for her tier. Any destroyer caught within her secondaries for an extended period of time will feel some serious pain. At the end of the day, her downsides don't really matter. You get this ship for the secondaries, and if you can get close enough to make them effective, you're gonna have a great time. Here's how you equip your seal clubber. In slot one, take main armaments mod one. In slot 2, take damage control mod 1, and in slot 3, take secondary mod 1, because you know, that's, that's, the, that's the whole point of the ship. For captain skills, take something like this. I don't think you're going to be able to use your normal British battleship captain on this one. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I know it's cliche, but I'm legally obliged to ask this or I'm not allowed to upload to YouTube. Please let me know in the comments which ship you'd like to see covered next. Now go out there and conquer one third of the earth.